Hello and a very good morning for everyone. So um, today we would like to share a little bit about LEBT or we call it as relative uh, emotion therapy. Is it? So today we will have a teacher Laila that will share about LEBT. Before we start about the topic, I would like to uh, call teacher Laila to uh, introduce her, herself a bit. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Laila Sophia Binti Arifin. You can call me Laila. So I am a counselor and also a behavior therapy. And somehow I go in the class for I eat uh, for class also. So as a teacher and counselor and behavior therapist at my story. So that's a little bit about uh, myself, and I am also a registered counselor from the Bagger Council Malaysia. So today we're gonna share one of the theory from counseling theory that we use as a guidance for counseling session. So this is just a little bit about myself. Okay. All right, teacher Laila. So um, I think we can start with our topic today. So what are about what? Uh, a relent what are the relative emotion therapy or we call it REBT? What is that? So REBT is actually a rational emotive behavior therapy, which is uh, one of the theory in counseling uh, because we have a lot of theory in counseling that as a counselor we use as a guide. Uh, for us for the treatment plans for our counseling session so each of the theory has their own belief which why i choose rbd because it's one of the theory that you know that most of us can practice for ourselves it's just like a normal problem that we think i think this is one of the best theory that if you learn you understand it very well we can practice it in ourselves it doesn't mean that you have to meet the counselor, you know, to use this theory. So that's one of the main reasons I choose to share about REPT. So what REPT is, is one of the theory that focus on belief in people. So we see that REPT starting is just straight away uh, rational, right? So it's about irrational belief. And it's, uh, let's talk about the founder of the REPT. It's uh, Albert Ellis, and it's REBT actually come from CBT theory, cognitive behavior therapy, which is they they develop more from the theory and add emotion. So as we know that CBT is more focused on cognitive and behavior, right? So it's just the same thing, but we add one more thing is emotion. So actually, uh, mostly most of the counselor have to choose the the theory that they feel that very close to themselves you know as for myself i think personally that cognitive and behavior is not enough for me i also need uh, to relate to emotion so that's why i choose this theory also i'm one of the counselor that practice REBT in my counseling session which i believe that uh, mostly uh, people all of their problems is just based on irrational belief. If we have a rational belief, then we can uh, cope with our feelings. It become a positive feelings, and it will also affect our uh, behavior also. So that's one of the main reasons I choose REBT. Lah. And also REBT, uh, the, the main goal is to help people to learn how to manage their emotions. Uh, thoughts and behavior in a healthier and more realistic way because it counter on uh, more on a healthy belief. So if you have a healthy cognitive, a positive cognitive, positive thinking, we bring to more positive emotion and it will bring to your positive behavior. So that's the relation between emotion, behavior and cognitive. So that is what REBT. Okay. I see. Um, can I know a little bit about what kind of the example, like the example for the irrational belief that caused the emotion and the behavior for a person? Okay, so irrational belief, we have uh, what we call a concept in RBT. We call it the three basic marks. So 
Example of the admission, uh, okay, let's go back to the type of acceptance first. Okay, for example, if a client come to me and tell about your problems and all, it's a long story, I will be categorize them in three types of acceptance. Okay, before we go in depth about irrational belief, okay, the concept, the main belief of REBT, everyone uh, has this type of acceptance in their life, which is the first one is uh, unconditional self-acceptance. So, for example, they come with a problem that, oh, I have, uh, I think I'm not pretty enough. I think I'm not rich enough, for example. So, it means they are categorized in their self. So, they have uh, self-acceptance uh, they don't have unconditional self-acceptance. And the second one is unconditional others' acceptance. And the third one is unconditional life acceptance. So REBT, REBT believe that if we have these three types of acceptance, then our life will be like no problem at all. So we don't have, I mean, we have problems, but if we have these three, these types of acceptance, these three that we master it all, then we just, you know, our life is with a sunny and rainbow, okay? Because we have unconditional self-acceptance. We accept ourselves unconditional and conditionally, and we accept others unconditionally, and we accept our life, what happened in our life, any experience, any situation unconditionally. So from this type, these three types of acceptance, if we come to in our irrational belief. So when this positive is unconditional uh, acceptance, of course, the opposite one lah, for our irrational belief is they have these three basic masks. For example, uh, for self, others, and life. So for example, when you, uh, my client comes say, I think I'm not pretty enough. It's because they have one irrational belief is I must to be I must become prettiest in the world, for example. So they have this must that they keep in ourselves in these three categories: self, others, and life. For example, they come to me and they say, Oh, I I, uh, I have problem with my friends, for example. So I think uh they, they are not good friends, they lie to me, they, they do this and that. So it's me it categorized under what Alia <laughs> suddenly I ask question. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they come to me, they have problems with friends. What do you think? Category okay. under this is it correct? Yes. Uh, yes, it's correct. So yeah, irrational belief is under others. So it's it's when we find the answer, it must be uh, one of the reason is maybe because they think uh, everyone must treat me nicely, for mm -hmm. example. So this belief, this irrational beliefs, belief that will affect their cognitive, that will affect their behavior and also their emotion. I see. I understand this, this three category. Okay. Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. can, uh, can I conclude that for irrational uh -huh. belief, Self is mean uh if for herself or himself that thing I must to do that this I must to have like this, uh and yes. then for the others is more than more like um the other people that surround her or him that need to treat him or her like that is it? Yes. Uh, but how about in the life? Okay, about life also is. Uh, something that, but for example, we go back to the acceptance, right? They cannot accept certain things that happen in their life. So they, they also have the basic mass, the three best, uh, which is a life that, for example, that, oh, life must be easy without discomfort or inconvenient, for example. So if they have belief that, for example, I, I, I'm, uh, I would, uh, my life, okay, for example, I, I get married also, I just have this uh, irrational belief that my uh, everything happened, my marriage must be survived, for example. Anything, anything discomfort, anything inconvenient cannot come to my life. So it's related to life that, for example, like uh, someone gets sick, you know, something that, for example, uh, like uh, simple, sometimes simple problem also, weather. So when you don't have, uh, uh, when you have certain conditional, conditional life, we call it like this term, like you have certain condition in your life, that our life must go in this certain way that will bring your irrational belief. For example, like I say the weather, 
Okay, so today I don't want uh, the traffic will not be so bad. I don't want because I must go home early today. And then suddenly, like yesterday, it's raining, and then the traffic become really bad, right? So that's that. Uh, because irrational belief will come when you have the conditioning, the the, the the specific condition in your life aspect. Yeah, that's I one other example. Life. How about if someone think, uh, how about if someone think like when a beloved person is dead, so they cannot mm -hmm. accept that. So is it under the life or is it under the others? Yes, it's under the life also. Oh, I see. I mm -hmm. thought it's under the others because it's, okay, 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 okay. Others person. Uh, it's like actually these three uh, category can also like combine. For example, mm -hmm. Uh, like you say, uh, they, they believe that someone they love uh, passed away. So maybe that has become life because we cannot avoid that. And yeah. that someone passed away, it, 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 it already happened. We cannot avoid it. We cannot prevent it. So there is a life, but also can, can include self because they cannot accept that they have to be alone. So it can be combined like the problem. So but, yes, it can be combined, but they must have like this true uh, belief that the main, the main problem is that what is the main irrational belief that bring out the other problem. So one condition, uh, one situation, one problem can bring out a uh, different irrational belief. Actually, uh, so if they have different irrational belief, so we have to counter one by one lah. But usually, if uh, we can. Uh, I think it, the concept is just uh, for RABT, the main concept is just we can change the situation, the others or ourselves, we can just change ourselves actually. We cannot change the other person. Whatever problems you come with the counselor that uh, yang pegang this theory lah. So whatever uh, problem you come to me about the other person, about your life condition, we cannot change it, but we can change is our belief, our perception about that, about others, about life, and about ourselves. So I that's see. the main concept. Okay. Um, one more question. How about if you see a kid that mm -hmm. believes that he or she required to win in all the game, in whatever mm -hmm. game that they play? Is it, yes. is it called as irrational belief? Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mostly so we all under self, is it? Or under uh, yes, it's under self. Like the, the basic must is I must win, for example. That way where we, we explore more, when we talk to them, like they 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 crying, for example, kids, right? Where they ask, why, why you cry? What why you think you have to what why you think uh what what why you feel sad that you lost? Uh, something that you answer one or my kid also answer like because I have to win. So it's ah. mean they have to believe that I I must win. So when I don't win, I cannot accept it. Uh, I so see. it's mm. right. so how to solve this kind of problem? Okay, so for this kind of problem, we have uh one model that most uh is the basic model that. Uh, REBT, it called REBT ABC model, which we apply is step by step. They guide. Okay, so start from A. It called ABC, but actually we have until F lah. So it called ABC model. Start from A. So A is the activating event. So which is when something uh, activity event is we call simple like situation lah, like something happen, uh, in the environment environment around you. For example. Uh, I had read, uh, it's come situation or any action also can. Okay, for example, I read uh, that community have to, uh, for example, I read the articles about autism kids. And then I have uh, autism kids. So I have autism kid that says, uh, I accept it already, for example. But the event, the activity event that macam, it's like a trigger lah. It's trigger the problem. So what the situation is, one day I read an article about uh, everyone have to accept uh, my, my uh, autism kids. Like everyone have to aware of it and they have to accept, for example. So I read it and uh, I think people need to accept. And then because of that situation, because I read the article, activity, 
uh, the articles, it called A, activity event, it bring out to B, my belief. Okay, which that, I believe that all people around me have to accept. When I go to restaurant, I go everywhere, everyone has to accept my kids. Everyone has to accept my kids as the way they are. Okay, and then when I have this belief, they will bring out the consequences, which is my uh, emotional response to my belief. So the consequences is I feel frustrated lah when I go to restaurant and my my kid have them drop and I, I I become frustrated when why, why you cannot accept my kid because I have this belief that everyone must accept my kids okay so we just uh sorry uh, I forgot to tell we just go through one by one ABC model which is in a session we will go through and explore this with client and then I will categorize it into what A B C and then next next step. Okay, so this is like uh, uh, more like a treatment plan guidance also. So what I have to explore first, I have to explore what? A, the activity event. And I have to explore what is their belief. And then what the effect of it. Okay, so I will categorize it one by one. And that, that's the, the, the way we, um, we, we, the solution for the clients that come with problems. Huh? We use this ABC model. Okay, let's continue after C. We have D. D is where the step that we start to dispute. D is a disputation. So we have to dispute. So it's more like we ask questions that like trigger, that like makes them think more about the problem. For example, I will ask the client, like for example, I go, I go to Alia and say, Alia, all people have to, uh, all people must have accept that my kids have tantrum. So when I go to restaurant, you cannot look different way about my kid or you're like, you're angry because my kid uh, is making a noise at restaurant, for example. So Alia, as a counselor, this is the step D, which is you will dispute me. And then we ask, it's called disputation. And for example, uh, what it's like you challenge my belief. So you will ask, okay, does having uh, autism kids mean everyone has to accept you? For example, like you ask question that will trigger me, make me think back. Is it true or not? Is my belief is rational or irrational? For example, like you you ask me like, does everyone has to accept? Are you sure? Does everyone are you sure that the people at the restaurant is aware of your kids' condition, or are you sure they are uh, angry with your kids, or actually because of you, they are angry at you because you don't you didn't do anything about your kids, for example. So when you ask me the question, we think, oh yeah, at that time I just sit there and watch because I I, I believe that everyone has to accept my kids. They have to understand. Yes, yeah. so as that, I will start to have E, we call effective philosophy. And then I will start, oh, if that's called effective philosophy, which is I, I reason back my belief. Well, so, oh, uh, even though I think even though uh, it's good for everyone to aware, to have awareness about autism, but at the same time, I have to do something, right? For example, uh, I, I, I learn skills how to handle my kids when they have tantrum, when I go out, or when I, I realize that my kids is not in a good mood, then maybe, okay, we just go home, right? So there's a few steps that I can do also as a community uh, person, even though I have autism kids, I have to learn all of that. So, see, I have the effective philosophy, right, because of that question, because of the disputation. And then because of that, the next is F, is I have a new feeling. So, this one also counselor has to, uh, what, uh, the, 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 the important step also, because sometimes when they have the E, they get a new negative feelings, you know, because like they just realize their feelings, uh, they just realize the action that their belief is wrong. The feelings that we should become is a positive one. So, oh, so next time I have to change my belief. I just have to do something. So, so it's a new feelings that you feel okay when others cannot accept. But sometimes when we have a different effective philosophy, you know, it will bring out new feelings and become a new maladaptive behavior, new negative behavior will happen. So that's what counselor yang we call uh, in Bahasa Main Perana, like the, 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 the big role of counselor is to make sure the new 
uh, the effective philosophy will bring out a new feelings, the new positive feelings that after that, uh, they, they, they become okay about their problem. Because sometimes, for example, if I have a different uh, E, effective philosophy, so because of that, maybe I can bring out, oh, I feel very guilty. And then my Asian, I don't, I don't bring out my kid, uh, I don't bring my kids out anymore, for example. So that's uh, of, uh, uh, one of the reasons that will happen also. Lah. But uh, this ABC model, uh, is RBT LBC model is what that we can practice in ourselves also. Okay, doesn't mean that you have to go and meet counselor to practice it because that's one of the reasons why I like to share about this model because when you are very sure of your act, uh, your what the activity event, what what the what for example what the situation that trigger me to feel this, you are just identify your A and then you identify what is the belief. This must be something wrong here. What is my irrational beliefs that brings out my feelings right now, right? And then you 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 find the consequences. So because of this belief, look what happened now. For example, oh, what happened now is I feel triggered easily when 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 people uh, uh looks different way. Sometimes they just do, they don't say anything about my kids, but they just you know look different differently. And Hello. So you find out your E and then, hello? Can so you listen? Oh, the line. Okay, sorry. And then when you find out your E, you, you find out your C consequences, and then you can dispute yourself. Doesn't mean that uh, it have to be someone else to talk to you about it. We can challenge our thinking. Like, is it true? Are you sure that everyone has to accept? Uh, everyone is aware about it. So I can just do all this step by myself. We can practice it if we understand uh, these ABC models. We understand it well, then we can practice it in ourselves. Okay? I all right. That, uh, that's I have a question. But how if a person have ego feeling, something like that, so how, how you can help them to dispute disputation and effective philosophy for them if they refuse to answer it or have ego something like that how mm -hmm. okay that's why uh dispute is after a uh, this dispute is d right so it's after yeah. c because this. So they have to understand what the consequences, what this irrational belief. So the step is A, B, C. They have to understand these three very well. Then they can accept it. Actually, if uh, people come to you, even though you're not a counselor, you can practice it to someone else also. So if they come to you, you have to make sure they understand and they accept the A. The B, the B is most important. So they have to accept this belief mm -hmm. that they have to, is irrational belief. And they mm -hmm. have to understand that because of this belief, we bring out the consequences, which is the D, the C, this, this negative uh, feelings, the negative behavior, that the consequences because of this B. So if they understand it very well about the A, the B, the C, uh, then there will be no problem for the D, disputation. And also, disputation also, the question that we have to ask, for example, we understand that person very well that they would like to be challenged about their thinking, right? So maybe yeah. there's a skill that, there's some skills that we have to like, macam, kita tarik tali lah, you know, with that person. Because, uh, uh, especially if you understand it very well. Because in counseling session, actually, it's much easier to dispute because in that environment, for example, when we sit in the room, just both of us, like no one else is there. So if they, for, uh, they don't feel like a shame and also the, the counselor is their counselor. So they feel like this person has the right to ask me all this question. This person has the right to challenge my thinking. So actually, in counseling, it's much easier to practice these techniques other than as a counselor also, I feel it's very hard for me to uh, dispute my, 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 uh, yeah, all my friends, ke, like my family, it's very hard for me. In counseling session, it's easier for me to do that because that person thinks I have the rights 
to to ask all these questions, you know, to challenge their thinking, to to say that this is irrational belief. As a counselor, I can say that, but especially um, with my friends, my family, okay, uh, it's very hard to practice. Actually, yeah, it's easier to practice in yourself. Other than you practice this to others to help them, actually, maybe we can we can teach them about the model, right? I maybe we can show them. You know, um, like for example, your friends. You know, I have this opinion. Uh, how about you have this problem, and then you categorize this one by one, and then we show it to them. I think it will be easier than we 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 ourselves uh, challenge their thinking. I see. Is it like our uh, we do a re reflective for ourselves like that? Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's one of the need to reflect. For example, mm -hmm. like, like I say before, like we have some problem that mm -hmm. we, 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 we don't know the solution of it. And it's become like really, like it affect our daily life. So maybe we can mm -hmm. take a time, some time, you know, uh, we spend time of ourselves, like just, just do the model and then we categorize, which is it? Because sometimes uh, our problem, we, we already have solution actually sometimes right it's it just uh we don't feel um that like we, we maybe we don't have time we just deny it to ignore it but sometimes we have the solution but the consequences is what we don't know what the main point is what what effect our feeling of it right so maybe we can take some time and just categorize it then maybe we can achieve to get a new feelings right because oh, this okay. model more uh this theory is not based on how to find the solution it's based on how to resolve your feelings toward your problems okay. i see so how to challenge my belief how to challenge your belief, belief. okay how to challenge your belief yes so i did i questioning Okay, so we uh, to challenge your belief also that in this situation, right? After we, they, you understand what well, ABCD, but you think that oh my my client my student still don't get it. So there is some uh, technique that we can use as a guidance uh, to questioning uh, his assumptions. So it's called a Socratic questioning methods, which is we have to think. Our thinking based on two uh, two two category. Is it biased or is it illogical? Right. For example, we have to think. Uh, we have a few question at least. Okay. First, uh, think like is this thought based on my emotion or based on the facts? So it's based on. Is it illogical or is it biased? It can be more detailed. Like is it emotion? Is it because of my emotion or is it because of my facts, my belief? So next, we can ask ourselves, what evidence for this my thought, for my, my thought, for example, that I uh, I'm, uh, feel that everyone has to appreciate me. What are the evidence? What are the evidence that say that everyone has to appreciate? Okay, that's kind of hard. Okay, for example, the, the easiest one. I say that I am the prettiest, <laughs> for example. I must be prettiest in the world. What evidence that can say that? Mm -hmm. uh, that I win uh, wanita terpaling cantik di dunia, for example. No? But so that's, that, that's belief. I can already find that, oh, this is not irrational. I am not the prettiest woman in the world. I don't have any evidence on that. Okay? So next, you can also think, what's the worst could happen? So this one, we always... Mm, this one I always practice in my life. I always miss this question because uh, I am I have the problem like, to overthinking. So I always ask myself again, what the worst can happen from my from my belief. For example, uh, I believe that if okay, I, I'm going to a workshop, I'm going to a talk as a moderator, for example. So I have this all overthinking. I must be embarrassed myself there and all. And then I, I always ask myself again, what's the worst can happen? And then if I list out what the worst thing that can happen, and then I also can find a solution if it if it's happened, I respond to it. For example, if I trip and fail at the stage when I want to perform, right? So what the worst can happen? So if if I I fall I fell down that I can just get up and apologize to the audience. For example, like we we think ahead, 
based on this Socratic question. So this this is uh, a few questions that we can ask ourselves, like just a guidance. So maybe you can go and Google. There's a lot of questions, there's a lot of example questions that we can take a few that's suitable for ourselves. You can Google Socratic questioning better. There's a some question that is the 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 basic is just bias or illogical. But it just there's a lot of example question that you can pick some and ask yourself. Maybe it can make you realize that this belief is irrational or rational. Okay. I see. I think uh is it that's all how we can challenge our belief or any other kind of the technique? It is one more technique, but I think it's just a simple one, which everyone just everyone know about it, but sometimes we forget to practice it. Okay, it's called thought stopping. Uh, thought stopping, which means whatever thinking we have, we just stop first. Okay, for example, I think that oh, I may uh, I may have fall down, I may have feel very nervous, uh, to to talk, I may have just stopped talking. Okay, we we aware that it's negative feeling. We stop first before it affects. Uh, it is negative thinking. Okay, we stop first before it affect our feeling and affect our behavior. So we stop it first, and then we go through the technique. Is it irrational or rational? Let's go through the question. For example, like like I say, I always hold on to what is what the worst can happen. Question. For example, so I just go back to the question: What the worst thing can happen? Right. So I, am I going to make sure that the worst thing happen become in real life? No, I don't want that. But what can I do? So it can, when we, it's more like we, what we call, uh, so soon, la, we, arrange our thinking, la, we arrange our thinking by stopping the negative feeling first, uh, the negative thinking first. So whatever comes to your mind that you know, is negative, we stop it first. Let's let's think more in depth about that let's think let's categorize this thinking is rational or irrational then it can really affect our behavior okay that's one of the solution now okay. i see do do we have any other kind of technique like maybe we can use a relaxation technique or whatever to do this? Yeah, yes but i can the relaxation technique but they're also like we we that's uh for example i know the 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 uh, uh i apply the abc model and then i know the consequences already so i have a new feelings but we are normal normal human being right for example yeah. so if we have the guilty we feel have the for example when you say that we lost someone that we lose we still have the grief even though if we know it's the rational beliefs so that's when uh to the, the calming strategy can also apply and also uh, uh, it, that is after we realize but also for example we realize that it's an irrational belief but sometimes we still can't move on from the, from it right so what we can do is we be focusing again back our attention to calming strategy for example like a deep breathing I, I when I go to when I do a webinar or workshop when I go to a talk, uh, motivational talk or something, uh, I I like to bring out all my audience to a visualization visualization technique, which I is see. that in environment which you can apply it to yourself also. There's a lot of uh, videos in YouTube, which uh, you go in a room, maybe you alone, like you close you close the door, uh, you you switch off the lights, and then we we turn on the video that make the visualize uh, the relaxation uh, situation. But maybe like, the, the, like imagine you are in a beach, imagine uh, there is a sound. But you can uh, uh, search on YouTube, there's a lot of video like that. I think it really help us to, other than we just stop also that stop, this is negative feelings, uh, this is negative thinking, but we still have this effect of feelings, right? Like for us to refocus back our our attention and to bring back the positive feelings, maybe we can stop for a while, take mm -hmm. a few minutes, do a deep breathing or visualization. Now we can come back and solve our problems back. All right. Yeah. I think we are at the end of the session today. 
So okay. uh, I, I want to say thank you for your sharing today. And maybe we can share uh, um, something more in future. Uh, can. Anything you want to say? Uh, no, that's all. I think uh, <laughs> I, that's I a think lot. Lala, um, maybe we can see you in a future session. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.